Hello, welcome. Uh, here we go. We're going to do a little fitness vlog today. Talking about getting back in the gym. You know, we just had uh, New Year's. A lot of people have those resolutions of getting back in, getting in shape. Um, and I would say that the number one problem uh, that people run into is they go in, like I do a lot, at 100 miles an hour. Okay? A lot of times when I'm like, I'm going to get back in shape, I've been doing nothing but eating donuts and ice cream. Uh, drinking alcoholic beverages and not doing much except telling people how to get in shape. And I say, that's it. I'm going to get in shape. And the next day, I try to run a marathon in the morning, power lift in the middle of the day, <laughs> and then do 12 rounds of sparring at night. And then the next day, I wake up and I can't move. You can't my, do it. Yeah, my back hurts. My joints hurt. My knees hurt. Your body's just not prepared for it. Exactly. And, you know, like, or I do the same thing with diet. You know what I mean? I, I go... I. I, I jump into a you know very strict, rigorous diet where I'm like, okay, I'm I'm only gonna I'm gonna eat 25 uh, you know grams of protein per meal. I'm gonna only have some green leafy vegetables. Hey, that stuff is great in theory, but it's only great if you can consistently do that. Yeah. So the first thing I would like to say is consistency is everything. Okay, you want to stay consistent. So with your goals, pick something that you can keep doing. All right, if you if you set a goal, for instance, I, I want to be running five miles every morning. Okay, that's a great goal. If you have not been running, that is not a goal that is attainable yet. No. So what you do is maybe you go walk, you know, one or two miles, or maybe you jog for a little bit, and then every day you consistently beat that. You say, okay. Yesterday I walked a mile. Today I'm gonna run. I'm gonna walk two miles. Or maybe yesterday I walked two miles. Today I'm gonna jog a mile. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you consistently just improve, and you have measurable results. That's a big thing. Okay. I mean, you want you don't want to say I think I did better today than yesterday. You want to say I, I know I did better because yeah. yesterday I walked for one mile, and I jogged for a quarter of a mile. Today mm -hmm. I jogged. A half mile exactly. and, and walk that that last exactly. mile. Exactly, exactly. I don't think people also give it enough time. You know, it like it. They say it takes um, over like a month to develop a habit. Mm -hmm. Well, most people do two weeks and say, "Well, I'm not getting anything out of it," so they stop. But the thing is, keep going. So, like you said, you'll eventually find that you're making you know, strides. You, there's a natural progression. It's not, you know, don't expect that you're going to go from this to something, you know, like your end goal in a month, it, you know, in less than a month. It's not going to happen. You've got to, you got to constantly keep going. That's a, that's a great point. Um, one, one thing I always try to do with any personal training client is to try to get a 90 day commitment out of them because um, in 90 days is when you really are going to see dramatic results. Mm -hmm. In about 30 days, you'll start to see some results. But in 90, is that's like the magic number that most personal trainers, uh, in fact, are going to, or, you know, matter of fact, or even like uh, fitness regimens that you try, like competitions, it's usually going to be about 90 days yeah. because that's when you see your most dramatic results. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to stick with it, stay consistent. Uh, one other thing um, I would say about diet is, same thing. Don't try to jump into this, uh, you know, really hard uh, diet right off the bat when you're used to eating garbage. Yeah. You could clean it up over time. Every day, do something a little bit better. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Say, you know what? Yesterday, I ate terrible all day. So today, I'm going to eat a very healthy breakfast, and I'm not going to eat after 7 p.m. Uh -huh. You know, uh, or, you know, say something like, you know what? I have been drinking seven sodas a day I'm going to drink two sodas tomorrow the day after that I'm going to drink one soda you know what I mean and try to and try to eventually cut soda out and replace it with water or with tea you know yeah. or coffee or something definitely and it's those little changes that slowly that slowly start turning turning those knobs that change in your mind changing that's, your that's mind. the thing because um Habits can be formed whether they're good or bad habits. Mm -hmm. exactly. And once we start changing the way that we think about it, you know, like thinking about the diet is it's like almost like a bad word. Whenever you're like, oh, I'm on a diet, diet is, you, that's, yeah. you, you know, it has a negative connotation. You start to think, oh, this is something I'm hurting my body with. Or, you know, I, I, I'm doing something bad to myself. Mm -hmm. You know, instead, think like a nutrition plan. 
I'm putting myself on a nutrition plan, okay? Something that is going to be a lifestyle change. Lifestyle I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to do this forever. So, you know, a diet, I could say, I'm not going to eat. I love red meat. I'm not going to eat any more red meat while I'm on this diet. Well, that's negative. Okay, instead say, I'm on uh, this nutrition plan where I'm going to limit the amount of, you know, meat I eat, whatever. You know, whatever you like doing. Yeah. I, I, I don't limit red meat. I have, find nothing wrong with that at all. But, uh, but you know what I'm saying. You, you want to make it so it's something that you can continue to do. Say, say M&M's. That's better. Say, you know, if you're like, I'm on a diet, I'm not going to eat M&M's ever again. You know, on this diet. Well, you're going to eventually eat those M&M's if you love M&M's. Mm -hmm. So instead, nice, stay yeah. on a nutrition plan. Say, you know what? I'm going to have two cheat meals per week, you know, and I'm going to eat those M&M's. When I'm really jonesing on Saturday I'm at lunch, I'm going to eat those M&M's because yeah. that's when I'm going to allow myself to cheat. And if you do that, you can continue that success forever. If you get on this really restricted diet, you're going to only be able to do that and maintain that for you know a small amount of time. But I think that's a great place uh, to stop today. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining me and JT. Um, Stay healthy. Say? Get out there. Um, just try, try programs. Try different um, fitness programs. Just try it. And make little changes. That's all you got to do. And it'll, the big picture will come into effect. All right. Thanks, you guys, guys have a good one. Bye.